Ladies and gentlemen, I have confirmed that Sawabashi Cardinals will, in fact, eat pre-manufactured pellet food. It just takes a very, very long time to convince them to do this. Now, I'm not up very close at the tank. I'm actually using uh, the telephoto lens zoomed in as much as I can on my phone to keep my distance because these guys are extremely skittish and if they see me move uh, they'll just skadoodle away uh, so I have been feeding a piece of pellet food in this tank every day for the last week so if, if the food goes uneaten it just sits there and gets moldy but every day I've come down in this tank it's gone the food is absolutely devoured by something and I thought maybe it was my rabbit snail eating the nom nom. But I had a sneaking suspicion that the shrimp were starting to learn that the nom nom is in fact food. If you look here, we got two salawashis right up at it. And they were picking at it. And I've also noticed, after I started doing this, they have been molting a lot more. Which I can only assume means they've been getting nutrients and calories, etc. to grow and, and molt and have their new exoskeleton harden. And they get the nutrients they need to thrive. Look at that. This is incredible because Sulawashi Cardinals are known for being very, very picky eaters. So typically, they'll only eat biofilm and algae that naturally grows on your substrate or your decorations and things like that. So if you don't have enough uh, surface area, you don't, you might not have enough biofilm for them to graze on. So being able to supplement their diet with pre-manufactured food that is specifically for shrimp is incredibly important. The fact that we're able to do this is astounding. Now right now we only have two shrimp doing this, but I suspect more shrimp will join in as they smell the food. It's only going to be a matter of time before all the shrimp realize that this little pellet that I drop in there is in fact nutritional. You can tell it's right up on there, just picking at it, getting the noms. Little by little, the little little white socks, the little feet tappers right there. Just chowing down on it. I've never seen it in person until right now. And this is absolutely fascinating. Because it's just so unusual. They have been with me for around a year, I want to say. And it's been very difficult to get them to eat anything. That's why I have a gigantic uh, piece of lava rock. It has a ton of surface area for biofilm to grow on, and that's primarily what I've been using for them to eat, and just supplementing with Bacter AE, so that biofilm grows in the rock. But this is the first time I've ever seen them eat a pre-manufactured piece of food. And in fact, hey, look what we got going on here. We have more shrimp that I think smell the food. Now, I have to be very, very steady, because if I move even a tiny bit, they will skadoodle right out of the picture and hide. And that's why it's been so hard to document this. But if you look at it, it's really happening. I think they real, they look at one shrimp and it's like, they're, they're curious as to what they're eating because the other shrimp are hungry too. So they come and check it out. And when they see its actual food, 
they just go nuts. I mean, look look at that shrimp. She she or he, I don't know, is just pecking, pecking like crazy. I don't know where the other shrimp went, but they're around there. Fascinating. We have confirmation.